um, on the line. And uh, I remember saying this during the spring, but uh, that confidence and being more comfortable in my position has definitely helped me to become a better player. Is that just because you've been in the program longer? Is it understanding the offense a little different? What do you attribute? A little bit of, a little bit of everything. Um, time definitely played a factor into it. You know, when I first got here, I was, like you said, a little undersized and um, not as confident. But over the years and through uh, my training with Coach Mick and uh, the strength staff, uh, getting stronger, getting physically um, more capable of doing what an offensive lineman has to do, um, that has ultimately helped me to become the person I am today. First day in class today, right? I mean, how different is this to go against some of these different tackles again? Just to kind of get that feeling of having to hit and be hit again. Yeah, you know, it feels good. Um, over the summer, you know, that uh, off season, those off season uh, workouts are crazy, right? And um, it's all for this moment and uh, this next upcoming uh, month. You know, uh, Notre Dame is coming here, and um, we, we got to protect the shoe. You know, that's the number one goal. It's always been the goal. Ty Hamilton is a guy that's sort of getting a little bit of buzz here in the last few days. What have you seen out of him growth wise from last year to today that maybe people should be paying attention to? I think kind of similar to me, um, Ty has definitely become more confident. And uh, you can see that on the field, off the field, just in his demeanor. Um, two other guys that have been doing really good as well are uh, Ty Leak and um, Mike Hall. You know, those, those interior guys are working out there, and they're helping us get better, and we're making them better as well. Mm-hmm. Pass protection-wise, do you feel like uh, you guys can hold up and, and do the, the kind of things you were able to do last year? It seemed like at times CJ had all day to throw the football. Just how important is it to maintain that, I guess, going into the new season? Yeah, we know what we have in our backfield and um, who we have on the perimeter. And so uh, our, our goal is always to get him to deliver the ball to our playmakers and um, I feel like if we were able to do that last year, I think we are able to do that 10 times better this next com- uh, upcoming year. In run blocking, um, some games were great, some games were those struggles. Coach said maybe some of the fits weren't necessarily perfect or whatever. Just uh, what, uh, what's your thought about that and, and how you guys can take that to, to an improved level this year? Uh, you know, just listening to what our coaches have to say, you know. Uh, there's a reason why they're put in the position to coach us, and uh, there's a reason why us players are here to learn from them. And um, you know, they're they're giving us great information and great technique in order to do that. And um, we're looking to get that that ball in between the hashes and, and you know give them six points. How good is it to get the hash back on? Oh, that feels great. You know, uh, like I said a little earlier, um, we do all that training in the summer. Uh, really strenuous, really, uh, really taxing, but it's all for this, and uh, it's all for this uh, upcoming month, it's September 3rd, and uh, we're preparing. I'm curious about the Rodgers situation. How different is he as a player? Well, I mean, I don't think he's, I don't think he's ever been different. I think more people are just starting to hear that he, who he is as a person. Uh, Luke has always been a great leader. He's always, um, he's a student of the game. You know, he always talks to us about what we can do better and always tells us about the stuff that he's working on to get himself better. And he's here to stay after with the young guys, stay after with the, even the older guys, you know. Um, you know, just doing those things, being a leader and, like, texting the guys out when we have a meeting and stuff, you know. Just those little things have all culminated together for him to be, you know, the man who he is today. Mm-hmm. Your center is obviously going to lose a lot. Mm-hmm. Feels like he's kind of a natural for that. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, he is, for sure. Question for you, and this all from the spring, you know, uh, just how are you doing with that stuff, and, and how is it going you right now? Uh, you know, it's been, uh, it's been tough, but, you know, I, I got my brothers with me, you know, uh, especially the young guys. I feel like part of my role here as a, as a vet is to bring the young guys up, you know, Tag, Avery, uh, Carson. George, you know, they're they're the guys that are uh, gonna help me to become a better man, and I'll help them become a better offensive lineman. Which of those guys has really been a class? I gotta say, my boy Tech. Yeah, you know, he's uh, whenever we do it in the groups, he's always my left tackle, and um, you know, he's out there on the field working. He's trying to get better, he's trying to uh, trying to be a student of the game, and you can see that early on. 
Right now I'm playing a left card. Mm -hmm. It's going well. I uh, feel like I can play kind of like I said in the spring. I'm a, kind of a Swiss Army knife. You know, I could play guards and tackles. So it's uh, it's really anywhere you want to plug and play me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's a great guy. You know, uh, he's my uh, roommate right now in the, in the hotel. And, uh, you know, just seeing, you know, the, the competition and, Whenever I do a rep, he's there to help critique me, and whenever he's doing a rep, I'm there to help critique him. And so we, it's sh iron sharpens iron, right? And we're there in the room to help each other. And he's he's been nothing but that. It's I do, I do. I kind of. Um, I remember sort of a similar topic said to me in the, in the spring, and um, I'll kind of reiterate what I said then: is that you know time is time is coming to a close, right? And um, I only have so many years left here, and you know you, I could definitely feel the pressure, but that pressure also comes with uh, me taking extra time for film and me um, staying after to perfect my craft. My confidence. Um, I came here as a 250-pound, skinny lineman from Hawaii, and uh, kind of a lot of deer in headlights, as they say. But um, as the years have went by, and I've gotten um, great older guys and vets that have helped me to put me in the position I am today, and um, that confidence has grown year by year. You know, Coach Fry is an intelligent, uh, intelligent coach, and you can definitely see that he's there to to help us and um, all the techniques that he's introduced to us over this past several months that he's been here. Um, we're starting to click with that now, and uh, we're starting to utilize all the drills that he has um, given to us from the spring to summer, and we're starting to integrate it into our actual uh, plays right now too. Using our hands, you know, the one one big thing that we talk about here is the difference. Um, the difference between uh, my hands being inside versus the man uh, across the line from you. And, um, you know, if we're able to get our hands inside, nine times out of ten, we we got to play over with, right? So um, we combine that with, with great feet. No one can stop us. Shout out, JT. Hey, folks, we have Donovan Jackson here on the right 